It's the seashore. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's there. What does it look like? It's pink sand and turquoise water and beautiful rock formations. Mm -hmm. Tell me about these rocks. What do they look like? They're actually smooth. They're, in, they're not jagged. They're kind of like where the waves have cut them and smoothed them down. Mm -hmm. Do they have any color in particular? Whites and beige and deeper like just black mm -hmm. running through it. Beautiful. What about around the beach? Do you sense any any trees or bushes? Look around. There's trees. There's palm trees. Mm -hmm. And like a like a grass hut. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's in this grass hut? Let's take a look at it and see what's there. There's there's a woman inside. It's mm -hmm. like a welcoming place. Mm -hmm. Like where they welcome you there. Mm -hmm. What does she look like? She has kind of silver hair. She's older. Mm -hmm. How is she dressed? She's got a longer skirt on. Mm -hmm. It's white and it's got like a waist and she's kind of heavy through the hips so it kind of comes around her hips and then flows to the bottom. Not like formal though, just like an everyday kind of a look. Mm -hmm. What else is around this shack, this little hut? What do you see inside? see like shells and she's cooking something mm -hmm. it's, what um, is she cooking uh, like it looks like oatmeal mm -hmm. and she's just asking me if I'm hungry mm -hmm. what do you look like there Look at your feet and see what you're wearing. I don't have any shoes on. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your body and see what you're wearing. Um, I'm wearing a skirt as, as well. Mm -hmm. It's the beach, but it's like a skirt. Mm -hmm. Is it short or long? It's not all the way to the ground like hers. It's coming below my knees, well below my knees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what do you look like there? Take a look mm -hmm. at your features. Um, I'm young mm -hmm. and Really long hair. Mm-hmm. What color is your hair there? It's it's red. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this place. I I see ships in the distance. Mm -hmm. What and do they look like? They're old. They're almost like a kind of like a pirate ship. Mm -hmm. How do you feel when you see these ships? Like there's somebody I know on there. Mm -hmm. And maybe I've been waiting a long time. To see someone. Mm -hmm. So it's a really old ship. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's see what happens. Allow that scene to progress to where the ships arrive. Where do you go? 
There's there's more than one. How many ships are there? It's like a fleet of ships. Mm -hmm. How many do you see? They're traveling together. Maybe ten. Mm -hmm. Describe the ships. What do they look like? They're really weathered. Like they, I wouldn't want to go on one. They don't look safe to me. Mm -hmm. Um, they have sails. Some of the sails are still out in the summer, mm -hmm. tightly wrapped up. Um, I can't see a lot of people though. Mm -hmm. Um. They're painted, but it's kind of sloppy looking. I don't know how else to describe it. Like somebody hand drew it on, mm -hmm. you know, just not real straight, some parts of it. What color are they? What color is the paint? The paint's gold and some of the, some of the boards are like black. Mm -hmm. And the sails are kind of like a like you would expect a old cotton sack to be or something. Mm -hmm. It's not very pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. And where are you seeing this from? Is the ship close to you? Some of them are like parked out like where you could they seem far away but you could walk out there mm -hmm. and get on them. You know it's you, they seem like they're way out there, but you can get to them. Mm -hmm. There's waves, but they're not big. And then some are closer to land. So let's see who it is that you've been waiting for. Tell me what happens next. What are you experiencing? I see... I see a man and I see a child. It's a boy. How old is this child? Maybe ten. Mm -hmm. Who are they? You'll know it. Feels like it's my family. Like it's it's my husband and my child. And I keep saying, why did I let him go? He was too young. Because he's changed. Mm -hmm. What do you see in the change of him? He looks older. Mm -hmm. Like... I haven't seen him for a year. His hair is long and I keep thinking he needs a haircut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's like a sandy blonde color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's handsome. Look into this child's eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul. See if you recognize this child. It's, it's, it's Tanner. Mm -hmm. There, there, it's Tanner. <laughs> Look at your husband. Look into his eyes. Do you recognize him? Yes, it's Ben. Mm -hmm. So let me know what happens next. I just keep holding on to them. It's like a celebration at their home, but I'm angry too. I I feel like I was lied to. Like they weren't supposed to be gone that long. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Where did they go? They went to go get supplies and just everyday kind of things because it's an island and. Something must have happened. 
but I didn't know. Like, I didn't know where they went. They were gone too long, and I'm angry because I feel like they shouldn't have put me through that, but I don't think it was anything that they could help. Mm-hmm. But there... I'm also joyous to see them, <laughs> too. Mm-hmm. So let's see what happens next. Take me to the next scene that's important and relevant in your life. Let's go there. I see a house with a white roof. What does that house look like? It's It's got square stones. Like, they almost look like rocks, but they're... But they're stones, like, to build a house. Mm-hmm. But they're like a natural stone color with the mortar that's kind of pouring out in between each each of the each of the pieces. Mm-hmm. Is it a large house or a small house? It's not that big. Mm-hmm. It's kind of simple. Where is this house located on this island? On a, on a cliff I actually can see very far. I can see the water and, it's, and then I can see very far. Mm-hmm. Almost like where you would expect like a lighthouse to be. It's very windy too. Take me through this house. What does it look like on the inside? It's got <laughs> really simple but well made furniture. Mm-hmm. Like it's really tidy, it's neat, and the curtains are just really basic, but they're pretty, and everything seems um, just simple, just very kind of simple. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of like Things you don't need. Everything there seems functional. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close that scene and now let's go to a scene where something has happened. Something has impacted your life. Be there now. It's... It's my son. Something happened to him. And I just got him back. What happened? He drowned. (laughs) And nobody could do anything. He was just... I think he was fishing. I'm not really sure, but I'm very distraught Mm -hmm. and just it's very painful. Is your husband with you? I don't see him. Mm -hmm. No, I feel very much alone. Tell me what happens next. Um... Walking on a path. There's an older man there on the path. Mm -hmm. And he's comforting me. Is he speaking with you? Mm-hmm. What does he tell you? I'm going to be okay. That it's all going to be okay. How does that make you feel? Better. Mm-hmm. But I'm just very upset. Do you recognize this man's eyes? No, I don't think so. Okay. 
So take me through to the next important scene of this lifetime. What happens now? Hmm. I feel like I'm at some kind of a restaurant, like where people eat in town. Mm -hmm. And it's my place there. It's my, it's my place that I have, and I run that place. Mm -hmm. Do you own this restaurant? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. It's very nice. What do they call you in this place? What name do they call you by? <laughs> Myrtle. Myrtle. Mm hmm. <laughs> Myrtle. Myrtle, where is this island where you are? Does it have a name? I feel like it's somewhere in Ireland or mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens in this restaurant. Tell me more about this. I think I'm being kind of bossy and telling everybody what to do and just making sure everybody has what they need like and they are drinking beers there and it's kind of loud what do people think about you Myrtle <laughs> they think I'm funny and I think that for a woman I'm doing okay mm -hmm. to have, you know, my own place because that's kind of unusual. Mm -hmm. What do you look like now? My hips are bigger mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm a kind of a full figure and my hair is gray now, whitish. It's a pretty color of Mm -hmm. and it's to my shoulders and I look around 55 mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. but my face is a little too old so do you but like my hair is gray <laughs> do you like what you do? yes I like it I like making people the food and people are playing music mm -hmm. and they like it there and it's pretty like the scenery mm -hmm. what does the scenery look like just that there's you know the ocean nearby and trees but there are palm trees again mm -hmm. But it's still very windy. It's the part I don't like is the wind. Mm -hmm. Because I can't put a lot of things outside. The wind just takes it off there. Mm -hmm. Like a table or... Because I try to make it pretty, but it just takes it. Very good. Is there anything important in that scene, Myrtle? Anything's going on there? doesn't seem very like a big deal it just seems like a normal day for me very good all right so let's close that scene and let's now go to when you're older and something important is happening where are you I'm in my bed. I don't, don't feel very good. I've got a really bad fever. It's really bad. Is there anyone with you? Mm-hmm. Who's with you? There's a girl here. And... My husband's here. What do you think 
thinking about as you're lying there? That it wasn't long enough. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm dying. And it wasn't enough time. It just wasn't enough. So I'd like for you now to transition out of that body. Take your last breath. See yourself from the other side, leaving that body behind. And tell me what happens next. Where are you? I see. I see a light, but it's very faint. And I want to go closer, but it's hard. Why is that? Just don't want to leave. So what do you do? I see a figure, somebody standing there telling me to come. What does this figure look like? It's a tall man. I don't know. I thought it was a man. It seems like a man. Tell me more. It's tall. Just telling me it's okay to come. Think about going. I grabbed his hand. It just feels different. Why does it feel different? Like it's not flesh. It's a different feeling. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like? It's hard to describe, almost like, like a mannequin. It's odd. It just feels strange to me. Mm -hmm. Where is he taking you? To the places I need to go to see everything. Mm -hmm. So let's go there and see what, what it is that you need to see. What's the first place you go to? It's like a, a room mm -hmm. and it's, there's three people there with me. And they're telling me about my life and I just want to see my son. He's nowhere. I can't find him. I don't see him and I thought that I would see him and I don't and I'm upset about it because he went before me. Mm -hmm. Do you ask them where your son is? They told me I can't see him just yet. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, <laughs> kind of like a, a business transaction. It, it's not cold, it's not warm, it's just factual. It's different mm -hmm. than what I expected it to be. Are these people sitting or standing or where or are they? No, they're, they're standing. Mm -hmm. very, it's very relaxed. It's, but it's, it's not what I expected. Mm -hmm. They're just talking to me about different things mm -hmm. and that I could have maybe done more, but I don't know. They just seem a little disappointed. Find out why they're so disappointed.
because I let all of my anger and my grief consume me when I lost my child. I was supposed to find a way to still find happiness. That was my lesson. And even though I did well with my business and my things, I didn't. It's the kind of lot they say you didn't learn to dance in the rain. <laughs> and find more joy. So what happens next? I'm on what almost I can describe as like a tram. Hmm. Well, describe it for me. It's moving very fast and the front of it reminds me of a poster like that has the red with the silver and like almost like you just know it's going to be bullet fast when you step on it, mm -hmm. but you're not afraid. And I'm getting ready to board this. Are you alone? Are there others with you? I'm by myself, but it's okay. I know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Tell me when you board it and what it looks like inside. It's very modern. It's, the seats are almost like translucent, like a they're like almost like a translucent chairs and there's not a lot of color. It's very clean and very sleek. Are there windows? That's what's amazing. There's, you could even see through the bottom and there's stars around now. I'm traveling very fast. So this bullet train is taking you through space? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything you see. I see a large opening and I go through that. But I I know it's like <laughs> like a like it's supposed to be there. At first it was scary. Because you could see it in the distance. You could see that it was up there. Mm -hmm. It's okay to go through. Is this an opening through space? Yes. Like a portal or a gateway? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's supposed to be there. And I'm going through it. And it almost folds itself back like a wave. Like... It's really neat, but I'm through it now. What do you see around you on the other side? It's a new place, a new planet. It's somewhere totally different than the Earth. Describe it. What does it look like? It's a lot of water, but there's also land. This seems colder, though. Not like the warmth I felt before near the water. Mm -hmm. Seems colder. And there's homes that come up out of the water. They're very modern, though. They... They're very sleek and... The edges of the homes are rounded, and it's not like a home here. Mm -hmm. But they're really neat looking. They're Do they have color? Yeah, they're kind of like silvers and whites. 
but not vibrant colors, more like colors of the elements. Some have some gold designs on them as well. It, there's like a peak. Some of them have a peak at the top, like, and it's meant for some kind of reception. Mm -hmm. It's not even for like to be pretty. It's like, it's, it's a necessary thing to have. Like some sort of antenna? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But it's broader at the bottom and it gets to a point at the top. It's very sleek and <clears throat> smooth. <laughs> it's, mm -hmm. it's very, everything's smooth. Like nothing's jagged. Everything seems smooth, kind of modern. Are you seeing this from this train that you're in? No, I've gotten off mm -hmm. at some point. Mm -hmm. Do you have a body in this place? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you look like? <laughs> My feet are bizarre. What do they look like? They're somewhat like webbed. Mm hmm Webbed feet. Mm hmm But um like a blue coloration. Mm -hmm. But it's it's a deeper blue, like like I'm not getting enough oxygen. Mm-hmm. What do your legs look like? Different. <laughs> Describe them. They're not very pretty. They're kind of wide at the bottom and they stay the somewhat the same as they work their way up. Mm -hmm. And I have a longer trunk. And I do have arms and then my hands seem large too and kind of chunky with the same weird design. <laughs> Design being that they're webbed? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What does your, your head look like? It's almost like a cone shaped. Mm-hmm. And I don't have any hair. But I have very small openings for ears. I don't think that I'm a female here. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't see any breast, mm -hmm. and I don't, I don't think that I'm a female. You feel male? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. By what you're describing, are you humanoid, or do you feel that you are more like an animal? I feel like maybe I am some kind of more of an animal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that belongs here, but I can come out of the water just not for very long. Mm -hmm. So you're more of a marine being? Mm -hmm. Are your legs, do they separate or are they together? It's so strange because I feel like there's bone there for two legs, but they can't be torn apart. Mm -hmm. And the same with my feet, like they're webbed. But it's not a, it's not like a long tail or anything like that, mm -hmm. but maybe short. It's very different than anything I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. It's not very pretty. Mm -hmm. And do you stand upright? 
not very long. Mm -hmm. So where They're are you? very good. Where are you right now? Are you in the water? I'm sitting by the water, looking at all of these these places that are coming up out of the water, mm -hmm. but I'm they're not mine. They don't belong to me. You're just visiting the the outside of mm -hmm. the water. Mm -hmm. So let's find out where it is that you do live. I'd like for you to close that scene and let's go to the place where you do reside. Be there now. It's dark. Mm -hmm. It's darker. It's in the water. It's a little scary. What's down there? Mothers like me. Mm -hmm. So how is it that you swim down there? I have a tail, but it's not a very long tail. But others do. They have better tails than me. But not mine. Do you feel that you're young? Maybe. Mm -hmm. 14. Mm -hmm. Perhaps your tail comes in when you're older? Maybe. Because there are others with better tails. I just keep thinking my tail isn't good enough. I mm -hmm. can't wait to have a better tail. This tail's terrible. Mm -hmm. So let's see what it is that you do in this place. Do you have a given name? Shamira. Shamira. Mm -hmm. So Shamira, let's find out where it is that you live. Do you have family? Mm -hmm. so take. Let's go there. Take me there. I have a sister. What is her name? It's different. It's like jaglamide. Uh huh. What does she look like? Her tail is. Her tail is there. It's prettier. It's mm -hmm. longer. She's. She's really nice. She comes out and she greets me. What does your dwelling look like? It's like kind of like a cubicle almost underwater. Mm -hmm. But it's made of natural material. And it has an entrance, but not like a door, like a tube type entryway. Does it come from the bottom or from the sides? The entry comes from the left side at midway. It's not at the top or the bottom. Okay. So what's inside of the place that you live? It's a large table. But it's just more for holding on to mm -hmm. and relaxing. Mm -hmm. It's not like the furniture that you would see in a home mm -hmm. here. And there's indentions into the sides of, of it that like you would climb in and it would just contain you and then you could come out like... I'm trying to describe it like a, like one, a cubby hole on a train where one might lay down that's tight fitting, mm -hmm. you know, like a, a, a really tight space, but it keeps you from moving with mm -hmm. the water flow. So this is where you sleep? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I can rest there and know that there's nothing coming in and that, you know, there's, n it's okay there. Mm hmm. How many of these cubbies are there? <clears throat> There's five, and we all stay together there. But I have my own place, like my own little spot, and I've gathered things that I have found. What kind of things do you gather? <clears throat> hmm. 
I gather things from the water, from... I gather things that I find close to the shore. But I'm not supposed to be there. Why is that? It's just dangerous. And I get in trouble for it. I get scolded because I go too far. Shamira, what do you have to worry about when you go? Oh, huh. this could be bad. It could be really bad. Like, there are others that aren't from the water that come there and they could they could hurt us. Mm -hmm. the, the ones that live in the beautiful places, the homes, the shiny, smooth houses. Mm -hmm. They see us almost like you would a pesky creature because we also take the fish. Mm. What do they look like? They... I haven't seen too many up close because if I even hear them, I have to leave. But the ones that I've seen, they're they're large and they they have a lot of hair on them. Mm -hmm. But they stand and they... Um, there's males and females and but they have more hair on them I guess because it's kind of gold mm -hmm. I don't know do they have hair all over their body lots of hair from their head it's long mm -hmm. and some of the men have very a lot of facial and arm hair mm -hmm. the women not as much so let's find something in your lifetime that has impacted you. I'd like for you to close that scene and let's go to another scene in your life when something important was happening. Be there now. <laughs> I'm in charge of all the kids like that are around the children, the mm -hmm. smaller ones. Yes, what do you do with them? I am their teacher and my family's very proud of me because I started behaving mm. and and um, I'm really smart and so I I get to teach the smaller ones on everyday life like we have to gather a lot of different plants that are underwater and we have to take them to you know the a certain group of people like the women they know what to do with it and, and and the men do a lot of fishing but there's dangers here too there's there's creatures that are much larger than even our shark like they're huge mm -hmm. and they can really hurt you so i really teach them too because i've seen some of these big creatures because i got too too close and so that's why I'm a good teacher because I can really tell them I've been there but I outswam them with my small little tail mm. and but I hid and I did other things and that's what I'm teaching them is what to do to not panic to just you know you 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 got to you got to keep your head you got to be smart and you got to figure out your next move and that's what I'm teaching teaching them and they have a lot of fun with me because I like to be silly with them. How many of these kids do you have? There's probably <clears throat> at least 15. Mm -hmm. Are they small? Or are they big? Mm, they're, they're old enough to be away from their mothers, but they're not fully grown either. No, they're... And they're... Some of them like try to get on my nerves <laughs> mm -hmm. because they won't listen but most of them are really good and and we play and and I teach them I teach them a lot of things Shamira what is it that you eat you said you gathered plants there's different plants and they're I don't know all the names of the plants but they have like to say like an aquafil process or something that from the sun and we can gather some of those from the surface and they can feed us in that way 
but the plants, some of them are green, and the greener the better for mm -hmm. the plants, and it gives us more nutrients that way. But we also eat fish, and a lot of fish, <laughs> mm -hmm. different kinds, and squid, and other things. Things. There's one fish that is very peculiar, but it's very delicious. It's like got mm, probably four arms to it. It's not like an octopus, maybe half of that, mm -hmm. but it's kind of squid like, and it has a peach color, but it's my favorite. How do you eat these? How do you catch them? We have spears. Mm -hmm. They're rods and you catch them and you eat them. Mm -hmm. And, but you, you prepare them. You just don't take them off the stick. No, it's. How do you prepare these fish to uh, eat? You take them back and that's to where the table part comes in that I was telling you mm -hmm. that you could hold on to. That's a good place to, because you don't want to. You don't want to cut the fish up in the open water. Mm -hmm. That's never, you don't ever, you know, that's why you take it back to your, to your place. As soon as you kill it, you gotta, there's actually this, this like membrane sack you put over it and tie it off so that the blood doesn't run into the water mm -hmm. because then that's when the creature, the bigger, the bigger, scarier, <laughs> things will come. So you have to protect yourself when you're hunting in that way by tying it off. That's so important. And then you can take that, but you, you can have some of your plants there and you prepare a meal hmm. and you cut it up in quarters and you, you know, and you, and you eat it. Hmm. It's, it's, more barbaric, but also somewhat civilized. Mm -hmm. Does the blood not go inside of your dwelling? There's, there's a way that you can, t you take it out of the sack and kind of hold, hold it mm -hmm. and pull it. And then you t tie the, the string and s hope some of that water stays in that membrane mm -hmm. and then you can discard it back later very good what are these sacks made of is this something natural yes it's 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 intestines and things mm -hmm. from other animals mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. like bladders and stomachs and very things good. like that and I put my, my some of my findings in there too that I find I you make things, you know, like little satchels out of them. Do you wear any ornaments on yourself? Mm-hmm. What do you wear? I have a few things that I wear um, around my neck. They're adornments that my father made me. Mm-hmm. What and are they made out of? They're natural things that you would find, but they're very colorful very very colorful and he's made it it's a shell but it's not sharp on both sides he's flattened it and he's worked worked it where it's smooth so it can lay flat against my chest but still have the spikes on the other end mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very nice so Shamara let's close that scene let's go to another scene in your lifetime when something important is happening something that impacts your life I'm getting married. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. This is so strange. I, I'm having a hard time, honestly, telling the difference between the males and the females here at this place. Mm -hmm. They look so different, but so much alike. So use your knowing. Just know it. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? It's 
grayish blue. Mm -hmm. Some that have longer tails have greens on the bottom. That right at the base tail. Mm -hmm. mm. It's pretty. And what is this wedding ceremony like? It's a gathering and it's a dance. Mm -hmm. It's like a swim dance that you do. And it it's what brings you together and you swim and to like you kind of swirl around and almost makes you dizzy. Mm -hmm. It's quite nice. And what is your bride's name? Kanquiqua something. Kanquiqua? Yes. When you marry another, is it arranged or do you fall in love with them? No, it's it's arranged. Mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. it's like the building of the kind of like a tribe. Mm -hmm. Almost. So she mm -hmm. has been selected for you or you for her? How does that work? Her for me. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about her? She's nice. Mm -hmm. But she... I wouldn't have chosen. Why is that? Mm -hmm. A little more docile than it's just not too exciting. Look into her eyes, the eyes of the wind of the soul. Do you recognize her? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see what happens next. Close that scene and you're older now. Something important is happening. I've swam away from all of it, just mm -hmm. like I've swam away from all of it. There's a lot of turmoil and I don't want to be a part of it. There's it's like a lot of drama. What's happening? They, there's a lot of, a lot of turmoil over the fish and the people on the shore and there's there's a lot of it's almost I don't like the fact that we're trying to go to them to harm people I don't like that mm -hmm. because they also need the, you know, they need things from the water. And there has been times that we go and we hurt them. How do you hurt them? They and me, we've tipped over things and drowned people. Mm -hmm. And it's just like bad. I don't like it. So where do you go? Not too far, but far away enough to where I feel like I don't have to answer to anybody. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't have to play their games because there's one person in charge that's just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that person. He's, he's large and mean, and I understand we have to survive, but I just feel like it doesn't have to be like this. Just constant conflict with him, and and it wasn't always that way here. It there was a time it was beautiful and nice, and the problem is that my family strongly believes in everything that he's standing for, mm -hmm. and I don't agree with any, not any of it, but a lot of it because 
there are other places we could go as like a pod as a team as a, a place and we could move there but it's almost like we were here too and you know it's just one of those things that just makes me sick at my stomach because I don't like the thought of taking another life mm -hmm. even if it's not my kind of species it's still not okay it's just not okay I don't like it. So where do you go to? It's just a more of a private place, but what I like is that I can sometimes come out of the water a little bit and see see the land. And that's what I like the most. There's not a lot of other creatures around besides the ones that are in the water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what do you do most of your day now? I sing and I play with other creatures. There's a lot of creatures in the ocean to play with. Mm -hmm. How is it that you sing in the air? I hum make a lot of vibrations when you hum and it, it's part of it comes out your head hmm. can you sing so, a, an example of what it sounds like and when I do different songs different Creatures will come, mm -hmm. and I like I like that. I like that a lot. Are there any particular creatures that you hum to the most? Did yes, you... there's whales there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're not as big, like what you would think. Some of them aren't as big, mm -hmm. but they're they're whales, and they enjoy your company. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have any predators there? Mm-hmm. What mm -hmm. do they look like? They're they're big. They're massive, somewhat like a shark, but but bigger, much bigger. Like they could eat you in one just swipe. Mm -hmm. And that's I had I've had them chase me, and that's when I hid before. Like I I I could get in between things, and the trick is not to panic and find a crevice, find a place that they can't get to you. Mm -hmm. So you never want to swim out too much into where they the, the whole thing is they come underneath you that's it so you've got to constantly stay around the edges kind of like if you're if you're walking in a room with furniture you want to grab hold you've got to stay in the edges you can't go in the middle where it's really deep because they'll build up speed there and they'll come straight up and that's when you're gone and you're toast Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta be able to to know how to get around. Otherwise, you can't go near the land. Mm -hmm. And what's on the land? What does this place look like where you live now? There's none of the smooth housing like places that come up. Those aren't there, and there's just more plant life and trees and great big ferns like huge ferns mm -hmm. and there's sand and rocks it's very pretty and you can come out of the water a little bit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't sing out of the water okay and when you're out of the water what do you do there I just just kind of look around mm -hmm. wishing I could go see what is up there mm -hmm. can you breathe inside and outside of the water I can be out of the water some mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. good what do you breathe with I have openings that are on the back of kind of like where your shoulder blades mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. back there there's openings that I can open and close and I can breathe through there 
And if you're out of the water, what do you breathe with? Same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have, you know, you can close them and open them because, yeah. yeah. Very good. And then I have a, a lung system that the water, I get the oxygen from the water. Or if I need, if I want to breathe air, I can do either. Wonderful. So let's see what happens next in your life that's significant. I want you to go ahead and leave the scene, close it behind you. And let's find out what happens. Mm-hmm. Where are you? I've I've been hit. I've been I've been hit with one of the sh- the ships or whatever these creatures are on mm-hmm. that hit me. I got too close. Mm-hmm. It hit me, and I'm I'm bleeding. They don't know. They don't. They know they hit something, but they don't know it was me. Mm-hmm. And I'm alone. Mm-hmm. And now I'm wishing I hadn't been alone. Mm-hmm. And maybe I should have stayed with my family. So Shamara, go ahead and take your last breath in that lifetime, and leave that body behind. And tell me what happens to your soul now. Where do you go? I feel a white light. Mm-hmm. It's pulling me. The white light is pulling you? Mm-hmm. It's warm. It's warm this time. It's different. Mm -hmm. It feels good all over, like every cell is exploding in my body. In a good way. Are you by yourself? Mm. I feel very warm. There's someone there. Who is it? Maybe it's my guide. Let's find out. Ask him who it is. This is it's a man who says his name is Eduardo. Mm-hmm. Who is Eduardo to you? He's my guy. Mm-hmm. So what does Eduardo want to tell you now after you've lived that life? He told me to value family more. To keep my commitments. Anything else? He's showing me. What does she show you? It's... I see, like, the desert, like, I'm back Mm -hmm. on Earth. Mm -hmm. It's the desert. He's telling me that... that I'm... that I'm part of people that have... seeing the sky people there mm-hmm. and that is very significant 
Can he elaborate on that? The sky people. Mm -hmm. They came and they were very instrumental in parts of society, mm -hmm. and especially the Indian people. Mm -hmm. And they taught them. They left lots of lots of documentation and we must find more of this and get back to their teachings said that they left a lot of information there and that I need to look there and I will be able to understand because I was taught this way and then I need to I need to look there mm -hmm. and remember in what way the sky people understood more about the universe and more more about the the humans are meant to be part of the stars but the problem is they're so cannibalistic and I don't mean because they eat each other but because they're still killing they can't move forward if they continue with these types of behaviors they can't go forward and we were almost ready before and some did some advanced but the ones that were left behind were left here because they were too violent mm -hmm. and they can't allow that you can't be part of the stars you can't be part of all of the elaborate scheme if you stay violent they won't allow it it's just not okay it's not part of the spectrum you have to learn to to understand diversity and cultures and there was many cultures as there are today on the earth at one time but it was segregated for a reason because they were developing and it's all gotten all messed up it's a mess now you said at one time some of these humans did leave the earth mm -hmm. when was this thousands of years ago mm. it's been a long time but they were ready you have to you can't transcend if you're not ready so, they were ready to go and they went mm -hmm. so when you say transcend this is something that is done on a global scale or individually it can be large groups of people mm -hmm. it can be large groups of people it can be individual but it's it's a readiness large groups of people have disappeared mm -hmm. And that's because they were ready to transcend. Now, in these days, in the in the lifetime now of Teresa, what is what is happening now to her? Is she getting ready to transcend? She is trying to prepare others to be able to transcend. Mm -hmm. How is she doing that? How does she need to do it? She does it through kindness and through, she teaches every day. Mm -hmm. Maybe not in a classroom, but just by example. And she's, she's trying. It's just so, there's so much violence and she hates that. Mm -hmm. She's very strong and very opinionated, but she cannot stand the violence. Mm -hmm. It's it's a heaviness for her. So when people transcend, what happens to their physical body? They shake it off. Mm. 
Some shake it off. And then some actually physically go and they go in crafts. They come and get them. Okay. That's part of the transcendence is they come and get them. But you have to have a, a different weight mass. You can't transcend. You can't even go where you need to with the heaviness. And it's very difficult. You ha you can't eat this, the foods that we eat now are so heavy mm -hmm. and full of so many things. And they, you have to eat the right type of foods. And even your spirit can't be heavy. You can't have a heaviness in your heart and soul. You have to be lighter to go. So if you were to give people the, the right formula for them to be able to transcend to the next level, to go with these sky people, what kind of food should they be eating? Things like beans, tomatoes, some proteins okay, but not a lot. They should be eating very organic, leafy, green type vegetables are best. Mm -hmm. Very, and limit your calories. People eat too much, they consume too much. And it's not even about weight. Your calories will even help. If you lower your calories, you will even extend your life by 15, 20 years. If you limit your calories to a certain amount a day. Mm -hmm. Your body gets used to a lower calorie, but you you should stay away from anything that would have eaten anything metallic, even from the earth. I know that sounds strange, but you just have to lighten yourself and your thought and your mind and your food. And then you may be able to transcend and go other places that you're needed. Mm -hmm. Is this transcension, uh, being transcending, is different than just a normal death? Yes, What's this it? you're aware, and you can trans. It's just, it's not like when you go for your life review. Mm -hmm. It's different. This part of your, somewhat like, um, like your job, like mm -hmm. it's part of your duty, and you go, and because there's so many different levels in the universes, and this isn't the only one. And they, and there's different levels of development. And the earth has been seeded and here for so long. Humans should have been ready by now to go into the stars more as liaisons and peacekeepers and they're so full of knowledge to go and create and help others if they can stop this violence that's what's holding the earth back the most how do we stop the violence if we get involved with the violence to stop it we get involved with the violence too well i think the big thing is that i don't think humans know how that's why you're receiving out mm-hmm there are, there's light being pumped in. It's the only way I know how to describe it. Light being pumped into the earth. There are different types of children being born that are broader minded and more accepting and not as judgmental. They're beautiful. They're, they're beautiful souls and they're so misunderstood. When did these souls start coming in? How many years ago? Mm. How old are these just these children? Probably twenty or younger. Mm -hmm. They're they're young. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The planning started before that. The children that had those children were part of it because mm -hmm. they had to to be redirected so that they could raise these children to be broad. Mm -hmm. How can you tell if you're one of these children that have come in to change the world? You feel a duty to it. You feel a calling to it. You don't even realize it. Mm -hmm. 
but you sometimes are against authority, mm -hmm. rules, and they they won't stand for it. Mm -hmm. They just won't stand for it, and they they want they want fairness, and they have a lot of empathy and love, a lot more love. Mm -hmm. And they're misunderstood, aren't they? Very much so. Mm -hmm. So what message would you like to give these children who have come here on this very important mission? They, in particular, have a very strong intuition. They are being guided and they need to listen to that intuition. They're very much being guided by kind of the keepers and the sky people. Mm -hmm. They've been around a long time and this was part of the plan to try to speed up. Mm -hmm. Earthlings have been dragging their feet for some time, so this was a way to help maybe speed up the process because there's a lot of change with with the earth itself and there's no time to waste. Mm -hmm. What's going on with the earth? What, why do you say there's changes happening to it? The earth has cycles, mm -hmm. just like there are seasons, and there's just a lot that's been put upon the earth to tolerate from chemicals and just mistreatment and more than that it just it's an ebb and flow like a high and a low tide and it's just she's coming to the end of this particular season and that's why you have an opportunity in between these seasonal changes with the earth to guide to guide the beings to a place where they can go out and then take their next step this is this is all elementary here they'll be guided further but not everyone makes it mm -hmm. when you say that uh, the earth is going to have changes what kind of changes is she going to go through it's more of an intolerable weather Mm -hmm. more more water and more extremes doesn't take a lot to to rock a human you know they're they're only a small window for them for survival mm -hmm. so the earth's temperature in places that are hot may be hotter and cold colder and so the areas that a human can survive become very small and limited due to different axial changes, mm -hmm. polar changes, and just really some will try to go deep within the earth for protection. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are there people there already? Yes, mm -hmm. there have been mm -hmm. for years. They don't have a tendency to come out though. Are they part of this change too, the ones in the ground? Mm -hmm. They're trying because the thing is that they would... I think that these people that have been under there for so long would like to come up, but this is just too... There's never been a... It's just too violent. Mm -hmm. It's not... It's, the air is polluted. The, it's just... It's just not a good place. How do they survive underground if there's no no light, for example? They have engineered their they they are, were very highly advanced people like us mm -hmm. at one time, and it was another cycle ago, which has been thousands of years, but it's a cycle, and they they engineered and you know they were able to have enough warnings with the changes that they knew something was coming and they started out in the caves and 
they just they just manipulated the earth until they were able to make areas that were sustainable hmm. similar to if you go in a home and you see a small opening but a lot of sunshine mm -hmm. fills the living room yes. from the small openings yes. they have those in different areas hmm. and they're very well protected and a lot of those are on the poles. That's why it's so restricted too. Mm -hmm. They're known. People, there's people here that know that they're there, but it's not allowed. They're not allowed to go down there. No. Mm -hmm. And they have they have weaponry not to kill each other to protect. Okay. Mm -hmm. They could disintegrate anything that we had very quickly. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they can protect themselves from from us. Yes. There's mm -hmm. no doubt. Do they look they, like us? Mm -hmm. They're they're more fair where they are not in the light. Their eyes are bigger. And I think probably through the years of lower light, their are their eyes are larger. Mm -hmm. So and, we, we would if we saw them, we would think that they were ETs, perhaps. Yes, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do any of them come up to the surface at all? Yes, they 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 have people that are monitoring what's going on mm -hmm. up here but they don't intermingle with us as far as and that's that's sometimes what's happened in the past is there's people that have disappeared they've gone maybe under there mm -hmm. you know they they want to almost do a biological report on them hmm. things like that interesting do mm -hmm. they stay down there some of them, they some of them stay down there. Yes, sometimes they're returned. It just it just depends. Very good. So, what is the the purpose of Teresa's life in this time? What is what did she come here to do this time? Because we saw her going, um, going to the council to her guides after the life um, in that Irish or that island. And then to that sea. What was the purpose of her coming here now? She she knows why she's here. She's here. She's here to teach mm -hmm. and to to help people. There's very little time they've got to get on board with this transcending lightening themselves they've got to get on board and she's part of that and she asks about her career uh, she wants to know what she should be focusing on there's so many things that she does she wants to open up a healing center she likes photography singing home dec decoration what can she focus on She's like an ADD child. Actually, there's no such thing. Mm -hmm. But it's funny because people call it that. Mm -hmm. What do you call it? I call it someone with many talents and life experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's such a joyful thing. Mm -hmm. She can do all of these things. She just... But she was brought here. She was. She knows this. She was brought here and... She's going to be, she's going to be very known for some of her teachings. She's, she's very good in a crowd. She can speak to large audiences. Mm -hmm. So she could start her work small, but I see her tra traveling. She will go wherever and teach, teach these things about lightening your load, so to speak, yes. becoming a lighter being and readying, readying the earthlings for more planetarial travel mm -hmm. and being good stewards of the earth. And it's last, it's not any time tomorrow or the next day that these changes will happen. But there's no reason not to make good time and good preparation with the time we do have with Gaia in these last phases 
so that we can return again here someday. Mm -hmm. Now people talk about the new earth. Can you tell me a little bit about this new earth? It's a different vibration. Mm -hmm. Again, you can't go there if you're heavy. Mm -hmm. You have to lighten yourself and enlighten yourself. There'll be no room for despair and violence. That will not be the type of soul that is permitted to be on the new earth. You've heard the phrase heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. Part of the heaven on earth is that the new earth will be more pleasant and more of a learning. We're always learning. That's the thing. The soul never stops learning and journeying. That's part of the experience. In the new earth, people will be more able to explore their artistic side, which is so quiet here because it's so heavy, just to get through a day. Mm -hmm. There'll be more creation and imagination, which God likes. He likes that because then you're expanding the universe with your imagination and your creativity. Mm -hmm. And He can take those things to other places where they can enjoy that. It's like you're kind of elves in a workshop, always imagining and creating, mm -hmm. and that's not happening the way it should here. Now, should people be doing more imagination? Should they be imagining more, using their imagination more? Yes, mm -hmm. but for the good. Yes. For learning how to heal illness, pleasantries, entertainment things are things are so mm, there has to be light and dark but there is a lot of dark too much energy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. more playful things more joy just love and joy mm -hmm. okay good. she told me about her her attraction to dolphins that no matter where she is it seems that the dolphins come to her why is that? They, they sense her love of the ocean and they sense dolphins mm -hmm. were placed here as well as, as whales and some other mammals, but they are part of the keepers of the planet. And so they recognize in her, her love for people and they recognize she was once from a place more aquatic and they sense that in her. And so they come to kindred say, spirits. They come to say hello? Yes. She liked that before the dolphins where she was at before did not look exactly that way, but they're similar. What kind of, of creature was she? What kind of being was this? It's not I don't want to say she was a mermaid because it's such a different type of a creature. These creatures did not have blonde, flowy hair. They, they were, you know, they're grayish blue. They're mm -hmm. very cold and they're, they're more like, not like a fish, but just don't look anything like a, but the, I guess that would be the word. It would be a mer person. Mm, yeah, a mer person, but not like what you see on the posters and things yes. like that. Mm -hmm. okay. Good. She said recently that she's had many problems with her boat. What was, <laughs> what's going on there? There seems to be issues. She she's she was war. hit by a boat. <laughs> ah, that's right. <laughs> Wasn't she? She was hit by a boat. So she's. I think she, as much as she loves the water and is able to put her on the water, she was she was killed by a boat. Mm. She's afraid on some level. So can we disconnect from that experience today so that she doesn't have to be reminded, soul reminding, that the boats are dangerous? Yes. Thank you. 
let's disconnect that from her today. So in actuality, her soul was actually creating all of these issues? Yes, she's very powerful. Mm -hmm. Good. So now how can we change that when she sees a boat? Just love it for what it is. Okay. All right. Time with family. Mm -hmm. Good. Just change the perception of it. How is her child, Tony? He's fine. Mm -hmm. He didn't have a need to, to come here. What was the reason for him leaving before his time? I think that in her previous lifetime, she was able to walk away from her family mm -hmm. when she shouldn't have. Okay. And him leaving reminded her just how much to value her children and family. So it was more just a, a lesson, mm -hmm. but she will see him again. She's, she's known him in other lives as a friend. Mm -hmm. She's within her soul group. Yes. Is that the reason why you showed her that lifetime? Or was there more to that as that mer person? She now left her family in West Virginia mm -hmm. and came here. But. So she did it again? Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But not to the extreme. She loves her family now, and she can be with them from a distance, but there's, she still can not deal well with any kind of conflict. And there's some in the family, not anything major, but at times, and it's easier to just create distance. Okay. Will they be reuniting again? Yes, she's... She sees them and okay. loves them and returns. So this is much better than running away completely. She's halfway home. Maybe okay. next lifetime she'll stay. <laughs> uh, you showed her that one of the, the woman on the island. What did she need to learn from that one? What did you show to her? To stand alone and be successful on her own. Okay. Good. So that was the message. That she could be by herself and be okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you talked about the sky people when you first came through. And she says that when she was younger, she saw a UFO. She saw a ship. Mm -hmm. Why did she see that ship? They were checking on her. Mm -hmm. Is she one of them? Yes. So did they have? Do they have a contract with those that are watching? Yes. Mm -hmm. What kind of contract do they have? Their contract. Some some people that are here are watchers, mm -hmm. and then they transmit information in their sleep back. Hmm. They don't even realize that they're doing it. They don't even know that they're... But this is something that they arranged prior to coming here. They gather information and they transmit it back. But they also... You know, they have their own... Because we're always growing in our soul, whether you're whatever planet you're from or if you're a sky person. So they have their own things contractually and karmically that they're working through, but they're here as transmitters as well. Teresa is the teacher. Okay. Good. And what about her interest in, in ghost hunting and mediums and uh, the fact that she senses spirits? 
Is that something natural in her? Or is this something that she needs to do more with, of? She can sense mm -hmm. souls. And she likes to, if she senses one, she often tells them to go towards the light. Mm -hmm. She wants them to move on. She knows it's unnatural for them to be in this realm this way. Yes. So she's, she likes to help them transcend to the other side, so to speak. They, some people need a little nudging. Mm -hmm. Does she have any of these attachments with her today? Or has she taken care of them? She swept them clean. <laughs> good, good. What is the best way for sweeping these these hitchhikers back to the light? What would be the best procedure? The best procedure is to mean it. To mean it. To mean it. Mm -hmm. yep. And to and to fill your body and yourself with light, beautiful light. And she did this in her home. Doesn't take anything magical. Just she filled herself full of light, and imagine this light radiating out around her, like a million watts, mm -hmm. and demanded that they leave. And they did. They Wonder went. Wonderful. Good. Would you do a body scan on her and let's see how her health is today? Yeah, there's there's some pain in her joint areas in her knees. Mm -hmm. What's the origin of that discomfort? She's she's experienced great muscle spasms and tightness, and they would pull at the joint muscles, but also, she's gained weight, mm -hmm. and anything more than what your frame should handle is going to cause you discomfort. Why is she gaining so much weight? She's gaining it in the abdomen. Mm -hmm. She has no reproductive organs, but she has had five surgical procedures there. And through the healing scar process, there's a lot of adipose tissue there. And the fat seems to gather around it and her diet isn't what it should be. Mm -hmm. So that's an easy place for the fat cells to accumulate. It's kind of like a, a ridge there that they can just stick to. And so she needs to curb her diet and she does exercise she bikes and swims but she's under a great deal of stress mm -hmm. and the stress makes the cortisol levels in her body go high and then that also puts the body out of fluctuation it should be balanced it's not she's got high levels of cortisol and it's causing her to gain the weight and some anxiety as well could you start working on her today to lower those levels and start evening out her body to where the diet cells can move along? Let's start beginning to shrink those, those cells. And tell her what you're using. I'm using light. Mm -hmm. I'm using light. Very good. 
So what results should she expect in the future? She's She's got a bright future. Mm -hmm. She makes her future. She's not a sit on the sidelines person. She takes charge. Mm -hmm. Good. And her life before when she had to stand alone and and fend for herself made her strong. Mm -hmm. How many lifetimes has she had here on this earth? Three. Three. What was the other one that you didn't show her? That one ended very young. Mm -hmm. She she was very well off, and it was during the time of the Civil War. Mm -hmm. That's partly why she's here too. She has a love of the South. Yes. She loves the trees. They all feel like home. And the big fan palms. She had them in her yard. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. In South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Is that where she met her husband before? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm He was he was in the military as he was very handsome. Mm hmm She was well to do there? Yes. Yeah. Mm hmm And they were perfect. Everything was perfect. And what happened? She she died very young. Mm -hmm. She couldn't she had a, a bad infection mm -hmm. and they didn't have what they needed to treat her like today. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was very sad. And he he left. He got in so much trouble. He left his his group mm -hmm. to come see her. He knew he knew something bad was going on with her, and he just instinctively had to see her. And he got in a lot of trouble for that. But he was such a great soldier that they didn't turn him away when he returned. Mm -hmm. He was angry. He was angry that she left. She's very. She was very sick, but he made it in time to say goodbye. Very good. What is the name of her spirit guide or her guardian angel? Who protects her? Her, her guide is Eduardo, mm -hmm. but her guardian angel is Michael. Mm -hmm. She wants to thank them. He's smiling. Mm. <laughs> I mm, see his face. Mm -hmm. What does he look like? Handsome and warm. Just a very loving warmth. And his eyes are green. Mm. But more light. Everything's light around him. But she sees his eyes as green. She likes that. Beautiful. Is there anything that I could have asked that I didn't, that you would like to tell her at this time? She's always perplexed about her music. Mm -hmm. And music broke her heart. Why is that? Because she was so close to it all. She always was on stage and singing and writing and she was so close to everything she wanted for her career and then it stopped just abruptly just and so she somewhat quit singing she sings now and then but she has a beautiful voice and people like to hear her but there is a reason she didn't go forward with her singing. It was because she, the contract that she signed wasn't about her as much as her children. Mm. And she would have had to have left them for great periods of time. And that would have taken her away from being there with them. So although she got ill, it was more to slow her down so she could be there for her children. Her, her daughter, her daughter Tori, would have never been born had she 
pursued this mm -hmm. and she she needed to be poor wonderful do you have a message for humanity less violence more understanding and compassion for our differences if we could put the energy that we put into the gathering of things cars and homes businesses if we could put that kind of energy into being compassionate and healing a lot of healing needs to happen maybe people physically look okay but their their heart and their soul is fractured mm -hmm. and they need they need warmth and kindness and understanding. If we could do that and put that kind of same effort, because Gaia could shake off those, <laughs> those things very quickly that we collect, mm -hmm. but our souls continuously grow. They continuously evolve. We take it with us throughout our lifetimes. That is your commodity. That is your value. That is your soul. That is your most prized possession. And if you are helping others, you're also nurturing your own soul. That is part of it. And we are all connected in some way. So if we know that and we work on each other, that that is my message time and attention to each other wonderful are we complete today yes thank you very much welcome back oh <laughs> how do you feel i feel good I'm a little tight <laughs> remember I remember um, being underwater. <laughs> I do remember that. Mm -hmm. Do you recall what your higher self was saying or not? Or were you kind of out of there? Were they talking about the, des <laughs> the desert? <laughs> Just a little bit, yeah. Yeah, the sky yeah. people. The sky people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. how, how long do you feel that you were on this journey? 40 minutes. How many? 40, 45. Two hours. What? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> Two hours. That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I don't, I don't think you probably remember most of it. I, yeah, I'm having yeah. a hard time thinking about like yeah. everything. So how do you feel? I feel good. Yeah? Yeah. You feel light? You feel... How do you how do you feel? How does your body feel? Um you said you felt a little tight. A little tight, like yeah. I need to stretch. Yeah. But well, other that's than what you've been here been yeah. here for so long. But other than that, I feel good. Mm -hmm. Now did you want to share this with anybody? Do you want to see it first or what do you think? I don't know. I didn't say anything embarrassing to no, <laughs> I mean as long I as could take uh, out some personal uh, stuff. Yeah. Maybe. But yeah, if you feel like it's something you might want to well, share. Well, the story was very nice. A nice story. I mean, the mer person. Do you remember that? I remember the the house is like when I peeked up. Like I would have to peek, like mm -hmm. I and then come way. out somewhat. I know this sounds where I almost look like a salamander. Do you know what I mean? It yes. wasn't like what you would think a mermaid. It was right. not a, a beautiful, no, it, no. it wasn't like that. It was kind of like a a prettier salamander, a much larger, mm -hmm. but you know, the, it was back here, the breathing apparatus is mm -hmm. sort of like there. And, but I remember seeing the houses were curved and they had these bases like this that kind of went up like in India. Yeah. Do you know any rounded? Yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, tell me, how do you feel? I feel good. Yeah? It wasn't what I expected. So what did you expect? <laughs> I, I, I didn't really know what to expect, uh -huh. but at the same time, 
You had, I, yeah. You had some expectation. Yeah, I had a little bit. Like yeah. I, I thought I would um, be asleep more, but I could hear. But it had no effect at yes. all. I just kept foraging on, like, and listening. You were very to your talkative. Voice, really? Yeah. Well, were you able to to, to visually see, or what, 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 how did it feel like to be? In I'm a very visual person. Like, I could sit and play videos in my head. Okay. So maybe that's why I don't uh -huh. know. But um, yeah, it was like you described, like a movie playing out. Mm -hmm, very much like that, and. Did you feel that you were the person or were you the observer? How was the experience? Sometimes I was the observer and sometimes I was the, when I, when I was peeking out of the water, like, um, mm -hmm. I was that person and I could see like the land and, mm -hmm. you know, all of that. Did it look like an earth like place? Did it have trees? Did it have grass? It or had it just water. No, there there were some plant life, but not as much as you think. And I remember um, the sky was different. It mm -hmm. was more layered. I know really? that sounds weird, but the so sky... layers of, of uh, atmosphere, like mm -hmm. different different colors, or yeah, and slight enough. Have you ever? Have you ever been in a hurricane where in Florida, <laughs> but the, the, yes. the clouds will be in layers. In layers yes. It's it's similar to that, mm -hmm. and not as no, not as much light penetrating through. Wow! Like you think of a beach here as like a bright sunny day. It was it, wasn't. it was dark. Mm -mm, it was a little dark. And it was it was lot, very dark inside too, mm -hmm. because you said it's dark down here. Yeah, it was dark. But you were very descriptive about it, even how you caught your prey and. How you quartered it and inside this bag. Do you remember that? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you had very... to be very safe. Like there was a lot of, there's a very large. Yeah. Bigger creature. than whales or. Mm -hmm. There were wow. some big creatures. And, but the thing is they, they were very fast, but you just had to be smart. Like, and <laughs> le learn how to hide. Wow. Kind of like a goldfish in a bowl or something. <laughs> Getting into the little castle so the rest of the bigger stuff can't oh my God. get around you. Wow. Mm -hmm. And how did how did it feel like for example when you knew that your son had drowned? It was very emotional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um it it was like I was I could feel that pain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And now things make sense. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm they do yeah. karmically it's it's a lot of karma involved yeah you know and, and i like you said i think contractual i only think the karma is even if you did something bad to me i'm going to do something no. it's more like you agreed okay well i'm going to go ahead and do this lesson for you let's right. let you do this lesson yeah it's 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 a contract you have with each other yeah it's amazing mm -hmm. and um so would you recommend this to other people oh yeah it was fun uh-huh yeah, it was more enlightening than anything, you know. I don't think I knew I was having fun till now. <laughs> now, now that I'm through it, you know, it's like, yeah, that was neat. But um, it's just, it's just a journey. It's just another journey, you know. Life's about journeys and yes. and learning. And I think, my gosh, this. I can't wait to watch it because I can't remember everything. I know. You know I know. I, I, That's why I don't ask you too many questions because. You know, you weren't there, like, uh oh. But um, two hours. That's crazy. Two it's hours. crazy that like two hours went by of my yeah. life. And but um, I remember feeling so proud too when I had that. Like, well, let's just be real. I don't think it was a restaurant as much as it was a bar. Like a pub. Or something. Yeah, it was like a pub. That's yeah. When, I, when, I, when you said that, I was like, no, that's just a pub. Yeah, it, it was a pub. You know. And I, I before you even said Ireland, I thought of Ireland, but it had palm trees, which was which interesting. is yeah, that's strange. So yeah. I I don't know. So you wonder it, if it's even at this but time? You know, maybe it's a different. A different time on this earth. I'm very drawn to Bermuda, mm -hmm. so maybe it was similar to that. I don't know. Yeah. I've never been to Ireland. I've been to Bermuda. I've never been to, to Ireland. <laughs> so if you would like a session with me, you can go to my website, albawyman.com. Very easy to sign up.
mm-hmm. to go. Yeah. But I am booked way into the future, so you'll have to be very patient to wait for your your session. And I do travel all over the place. Most of my time is booked for traveling all over the place. So just sign up for my newsletter so that you can see where I'm going to next, and hopefully I can see you there. Okay? Until the next time, thanks for watching this video. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, thank you.